If anyone's feeling grateful and they're wondering about um, what to do, they might have an idea. Yes, the employee is wondering what we're doing already. If you're wondering what to do with your money, everyone wants everything from this section of Eureka Natural Foods Grocery Store. Oh look, that lady has a dress that's just like the one I got in Los Angeles. Wow, I like it. Everyone wants all these books, all these toys, all these pens. She wants to have a great realization. She wants to have a tiger day. She wants to learn how to be kind or learn what's in the coral reef. She's just like amazed by this and she's like, mommy, mommy, mommy. Please buy me everything. But I can't afford it. I can't afford to. So what can you do with an idea? Well, what can you do with money that you want to spend? You can possibly call Eureka Natural Foods and buy one of these items from this extremely expensive grocery store where they sell candles for $28.99. It's a healing candle, though. Yeah, yeah, the smell was meant to, like, make you feel better when you're sick. They have different candles for different purposes. And every time I come to this store, I do something that their employees should do. I always turn things forward. It just bothers me that their employees don't do that, but you can buy some. Wow, we have all kinds of sage. This is amazing. What sage? Well, I'm not sure if you remember this, but, like, Almost a year ago, we were collecting some of it near Mount Shasta, Mountain Sage. White Sage, do they say like the scientific species names on them? Yeah. Well, I see the purple bale. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Made in California. Oh no! They do not say the scientific species names. Oh no! Oh boy! I have collected all of these things or most of these things before, but look, let's just get a video of all of them. Oh, this is very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, we're going to check out the meat department now. Let's check out the meat department. Wow. $14 letters. Or $14 cheeses. Um, I think we have enough food. Normally I would say yes, but I think we have enough food. Since we already got sandwiches, they're going to be very expensive, and a very expensive salad. I don't know when I'm walking out of here. <laughs> wow, this is really interesting. Wow, the meat department's a little frosted over. I'm not able to get a good shot of it, but the meat looks really good. Wow. Yeah, it's just frosted over. It's because the meat inside is cold. Super. But it looks good. <laughs> this guy's on the phone taking a halibut order. This is amazing. Wow. This is the fish. Wow, that must be very good. Yeah, it's very good. I would buy some if we didn't already have very much food, including fish frozen in our freezer at home. That's parsley. It's curly parsley. It's a different type of parsley than the one we grow. Um, it's in there to um, make it um, look pretty. It's a, called a garnish. A garnish is when you put like a vegetable or a leaf like parsley around the meat or the fish to make it look pretty. That's what it's called. Wild Tombow tuna. Swordfish steaks. Oh, wow. I love that one because it's pink. 
What, the salmon one? Yeah. Uh, not that red one, that pink one. The but pale pink one, the black cod? Yeah. All right. I love Hitarli sole. That is one of the best tasting fishes. Swordfish is pretty good too. Um, they say you shouldn't eat it too often because it could have mercury in it. I completely ignore this advice and I eat swordfish whenever the hell I want to. <laughs> <laughs> he's laughing. It's only if you're eating it like yeah, 10 times a month. Yeah, yeah, you know, he's laughing about what I'm saying because when I was pregnant, I had to like write down this um food thing, food diary, yeah. and I wrote down that I had eaten that and they freaked out. They're like, oh, no, 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 not when you're pregnant. Well, she came out fine. <laughs> there she is. Fine. Um, not right now, but maybe in a few minutes. Okay, cool.